Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is such a fun video. I headed to Lowe's this morning to pick up some bird feed. I stopped by Starbucks, got me a coffee, and then I headed over to Charlotte's Trade Days to pick up some plants for my back deck. Charlotte is my friend, my neighbor, and her and her husband, David, own a trade days here in our hometown. When it comes to spring, they have the best plants around. So I'm going to take you over to his and hers mercantile in my hometown and show you around. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin and welcome to my channel. I'm going to start off by showing you guys a quick clip of my favorite drink from Starbucks and that is an iced brown sugar soy milk latte. It is one of my favorites and as soon as I pulled up Charlotte was waiting on me. She'll get a buggy and we're going to start looking for plants in just a second. For you guys that live in my hometown I just wanted to show you a quick shot of the inside of her trade days. It's actually two stories. It is so so nice and it is so fun going up and down each aisle but today we're not here to shop on the inside we're here to go back outside and buy some plants for the back deck now I actually filmed this video the Saturday before Easter and then you're not going to watch this video uh, or I'm not going to post this video until the Wednesday after Easter so just want to let you guys know that this was done prior to Easter but here is some shots of outside of Charlotte she has her little buggy ready and it was really really busy today we were keeping her jumping today she was selling these plants like hotcakes and friends aren't these hydrangeas absolutely gorgeous I would have bought every one of them if I was in my budget but I went ahead and went with the pink I'm gonna do a lot of pink and yellow on the back deck today for Easter and she had so much to choose from now I'll also come back and um, probably next weekend Charlotte and I are gonna go on a road trip um, a couple days the first week in April and I'll film that for you guys and then when I get back that following weekend I'll probably be back at Charlotte's because then I'm going to be doing my flower beds outside um so just if you're one of my watchers that love it when I start uh, doing my outside videos then get ready because my next couple of videos I'm hoping will just be lots of videos outside in the yard Okay, we're home from Charlotte's. It's gotten a little cloudy here. It was absolutely sunny when I left about an hour and a half ago. Now it's all uh, cast overcast. So let's try to work on the back porch and maybe the front porch if we've got some time before it starts raining. And I'll tell you what type of plants I bought as I'm putting them on the porch. So I'll tell you what type of plant and maybe the price. So, so my friends that live local can run by Charlotte's and pick up some spring plants to get their front and back porch ready for spring. Okay, here's what the sky looks like. I should have filmed it before I left because it was bright and sunny and not a cloud in sight, but it's turning awfully dark. So let's get to working on this back porch before it really starts raining. I'm going to show you some quick before shots and as you can see there's a lot of work I need to do in this backyard so hopefully lots of outside videos coming your way be sure you hit that subscribe button be sure you hit that bell notification button so you won't miss any of my outside yard work flower bed work all the fun stuff outside in the yard Okay, real fast if I have enough plants I didn't buy that many today my budget was a hundred dollars I spent a hundred and ten so I may not have enough but I'm gonna focus on potting in this area we may not be able to pot all of them and then in this area over here so these are the two areas that I'm gonna try to fill up with plants and make it a little bit more appealing here on the back porch since this is pretty much where we're gonna spend our afternoon hunting Easter eggs Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm going to quickly plug in the television, get me some country music playing, and y'all look at Remy. He is living his best life here on this back porch. He's the neighbor's dog if you happen to be new today, but he'll hang out with me today because I'm outside. But let's start by unloading all of my plants, getting them here on what I call my potting table because this is, this is where I pot all my plants. And we'll get the bird feeders filled up. And I also went ahead and um, did my hummingbird feeder this morning. My friend Kathy says that she already has some hummingbirds at her house she'll have a ton of them charlotte will have a ton of them and i'll just have like two at my house but i'm hoping that the grandkids can see some birds today feeding on the bird feeders and maybe a hummingbird or two feeding off the hummingbird feeders Hey friends, I know some of you like it when I kind of share with you what I actually bought and what type of plant I bought. So Mexican heather is so, so pretty and it grows so easily. And then I also picked up some of this coleus. How vibrant is this? So, so pretty. So these are great basket filler guys or planter fillers. They grow really well, really well. And I believe this is the type of coleus that you could just like, once it gets a little bigger like this one, you could just pinch that off, stick it in the ground. It'll root a new plant. So I love that when it comes to all the different colors of coleuses. And then again, this Mexican rose is a great filler. But you know what, guys, I just remembered I don't have the prices for those. So Charlotte, if you want to leave that in the comment section, how much um, your prices are on these basket fillers, I know our local people would appreciate that. Okay, and then I picked up just a couple of Gerber daisies. These are my very favorite plant. I just love these, or flower. Um, these are $8 a piece, so I got this vibrant red one and this really pretty hot pink one. Sorry, Rumi has saw something, so he's barking in the background. But So I picked those up, and then I found this gorgeous hydrangea. She has the most beautiful hydrangea, and it's $35. Look how gorgeous it is. It is just full of blooms. That's going to make my Easter porch just beautiful. And then this beautiful geranium for $15 and I also it's another shade of pink so I went with lots of pink today so so pretty so I think these colors right here are really going to spruce up my Easter porch and then this of course this beautiful fern I don't know what type of fern this is let me see it doesn't exactly say what fern I don't know if it's a Boston fern I'm sure Charlotte will tell us in the comment section when she watches this video but it was $25 and I don't know if I'm gonna put this in a different pot or just leave it in that pot I'm not real sure but it's really gonna look pretty I may end up putting this by the back door and then I picked up one of these petunia baskets for $15 she puts on here it needs five to six hours of Sun and it is so so pretty I do know Charlotte has taught me with these petunias that you're supposed to dead them so like you see this dead one you're supposed to pick it off so another flower will bloom so there's my little planting tip for the day but this yellow is so so pretty and I don't know if I'm gonna hang this or put it in a basket so let's start planting all of our plants putting them and um, where I putting them in their new home and let's see how pretty we can make this back deck Okay, let's get these bird feeders filled up real quickly. The birds have been like dying. They come in here every morning, every afternoon, and there's been no bird feed here. So I grabbed some at Lowe's. So let's get these filled up real quickly and make these birds happy. Y'all get ready because you're about to get a pretty good laugh. This limb almost got me right here. This limb is rather tall and I don't have a ladder or I didn't have a, hand, a ladder handy. So I just kind of walked down that limb and it almost got me when it popped back up. But these bird feeders have seen better days. They're probably y'all at least five years old. I need to buy some more. But for today, we're just going to use these.
friends, I was struggling today. That limb almost got me. And then when I went to put this bird feeder back, I noticed there was a ton of poison oak on this fence line. So that's another project that I'll have to be working on soon. You'll see me trying to find a stick. I just need to kind of pull that poison oak away before I try to hang that bird feeder because the last thing I need is poison ivy, poison ivy or poison oak on me. And I believe um, both bushes were on this fence line. So that'll be a project I'll have to put a long sleeve t-shirt on and get over here and get that fence line cleaned off and also that little flower bed that was over to the left I have lots of irises in that little flower bed and it's all grown up so um, if you saw last year we have lots of little clovers in our flower beds so that'll be quite a job getting all those clovers out of my side flower beds but okay so now we're gonna move over to this little area and get it all spruced up you see that lizard right there guys it kind of hung out with me for a little bit uh, I got to put this fern here and I've tried to softly put it in there so it wasn't scaring but he hung in there and then he took off at, right after this but I didn't wanted to bring you bring to your attention that little lizard that was there on that pole um, so what I try to do is on my plants like this plant that you're about to see here this is my stargazer I got from Charlotte this is my second spring for it to bloom I'm so excited that the frost has not gotten it for two years now um, but when I have plants and they come back for the spring they didn't die off I'll just try to get all the leaves out of it you know just kind of pick all the dead stuff off of it and sometimes in this big pot I'll put another plant in here but today I really didn't have anything else to put in here so you're just gonna see me quickly clean out this pot just to kind of give this stargazer a little bit more room to grow a little bigger And here's another pot that I just I was gonna clean out really well I've got one plant here I was gonna save and then once I started taking um, the plants out I thought you know what I think I'm just gonna put the petunia here so once I took that one plant out I just took it this um, all the soil that was in this one pot put it over into another big pot and then you'll see me just add this yellow petunia here and it looks so so pretty here on these steps now obviously guys you can see all kinds of green pollen on these steps we've got a pyro wash this we've got to restain it so lots to do but I needed to get the porch a little bit prettier for Easter because again this is Saturday the grandkids are coming over this the next day which have been Sunday Easter so I had to get this porch looking better but you'll be able to see a lot of stuff that really needs to be done here on this back deck that I'm not going to get done today but eventually it'll all get done Oh my goodness, y'all, did I struggle trying to get that plant holder off of that plant or what? <laughs> that sucker did not want to come off. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you've got a green thumb. I consider myself kind of having a green thumb. My number one problem with my plants inside or outside of my house is that I tend to overwater my plants. I'm really bad about that. And we all know that root rot happens really quickly. And once that happens and sets in with your plant, it's pretty much gone. Um, to me, it's almost better for your, for your plant to dry out than it is to get too wet. But let me know in the comment section again if you feel like you've got a green thumb or you're like, no way, Robin, all I have in my house is faux plants and no way do I even want to try a new plant. 
If you guys follow Two Vacuum Do Us Part with Ashley, I have followed her for probably six years now, and I can remember where she would have never gotten a, a, a real plant in her house. And then she has gotten what I think they call it a mother in law's tongue, it's like the nickname for it, or a snake plant. Those are really easy to grow. I don't have one in my house now, or I'll show you a picture of it. But if you feel like you don't have a green thumb and you want some plants on the inside, I feel like that's the best plant for you to start with. And then and outside um, really any flowering plant like this and um, if you'll just don't let it get too wet and just let it dry out before you water it and I have found that ferns like to be watered from the bottom I actually have a big watering trough you can't see it right here uh, not really a trough but a big watering barrel that catches my rainwater off of my deck and so when I go to water my ferns I just take that fern and sit it down into that water and then I usually let them sit there overnight they absolutely love that so if you've got a fern and you're trying to keep it alive don't water it from the top water it from the bottom I promise it'll make such a difference and I do try to let mine um, dry out before I go to water my ferns Okay, so here's another big pot where some of my flowers survive the winter. I think these are actually pansies, those yellow flowers there, and several of them um, survived in this big pot. So I'm just going to take them out and transport those or transplant those into another pot. But I wanted to clear this pot out because I've got a huge, um, I don't know what you want to call this other plant that I got from Charlotte. I got this one about two weeks ago. I got two different ones and they're flowering plants. I've got several different types of flowering plants in it. They're absolutely beautiful. It's really going to look really good here in this spot. You'll see that here in just a second. But first I need to take all of these plants and take them out to make room for this other plant that I'm going to get. It was funny. Um, it was on a, I think it was on a Saturday afternoon. Charlotte had just went and bought all of her plants she was coming back she had her plant trailer attached to her truck and she just pulled up in the yard and I she lets down the back of the trailer and I just go shopping so it's really fun to have one of your best friends that um, owns a trade days and has a plant center and you can get roadside service like that because I tell you she takes really good care of me okay I don't know what this is called but look how gorgeous it is it has several different plants in there I'm sure Charlotte can tell us in the comment section what all these plants are but I think it's absolutely beautiful my precious mother-in-law we lost her some time back and purple was her favorite favorite color so I am going to plant this in here in memory of our um, precious Nini, uh, Debbie Dawson Lowe was her name, and our son Jay is named after her. His name is Jay Dawson, and we're just so proud of his name because of our precious Nini. So we miss you, Nini. We love you. But isn't this just beautiful, y'all? We love this purple, or I love this purple. It is just beautiful. And I've got another one just like it, but it's on the front porch. I'll show you the front porch in just a little bit. Thank you. 
Now, you know you're really doing some planting if you have to change gloves. <laughs> that plant gave me such a time. I had soil everywhere. So I'm going to put on some fresh gloves and we're going to continue to pot up some of these plants. And um, this is just one of my favorite things to do, guys. I mentioned a lot here on my channel that both of my grandmothers um, were big plant people, big yard people. My Granny Yates and my Granny Horton. My Granny Horton uh, lived right beside her two sisters which were my aunt fern and my aunt dorothy and um i had such i have such precious memories of those ladies and they're all in heaven now and i tell you what i've got the best memories of them working in their yards and they'll have they had plant sales and people would stop and buy plants and Oh my goodness, they, my granny Horton, she had a banana tree and it actually grew bananas that you could eat. I don't think uh, I ever tried one because I think I was a little scared of it, but she could pretty much grow anything and they were big coffee drinkers and so she would put soil in coffee cans, like Folgers coffee cans and she'd make holes in the bottom of those coffee cans for the water to drain out and she would just root plants and that's how she would sell her plants at her plant sale in those coffee cans and just any container that she could find she was going to grow a plant so every time I'm in my yard I'm planting plants I've got my hands in my soil or I've got my hands in soil I am thinking of my grannies and my great aunts because I tell you they've taught me all I know about flowers which is not much I didn't pay attention much when I was a teenager but I do have lots of precious memories of them Look at y'all, y'all, look at Remy. He is still living his best life sitting here. <laughs> he is certainly enjoying this overcast day. I wish you guys could hear, hear the winds chime, the wind chimes chiming and the birds singing. The uh, wind was blowing just enough to make it just extra cool. Um, cool feeling and not too hot and I'm still listening to my country music and I just so enjoy being outside. Okay, now we're just going to add a couple of rabbits to the back deck. Now, I know when you watch this, it's going to be the Wednesday, I think, after Easter. However, I've said this before on the inside of my house. I'll say it for the outside of my house also. that I think Easter bunnies can be left up all during spring. There is something about a sweet little Easter bunny. And so today I'm going to add just a couple for them to be back here for the grandkids when they hunt Easter eggs tomorrow. If you happen to be new today, I would love it if before you left today, you would introduce yourself to me in the comment section, maybe where you're from, your name. We would all love to hear from you. Um, I've gotten so many new subscribers lately. We're almost at our next goal of 12,000 subscribers. So, so hard to believe. I'm going to have a $50 Amazon giveaway as soon as we hit that 12,000 subscriber mark. So if you uh, take a chance before, or, or if you would, before you leave today, make sure you're still subscribed to my channel I've noticed on some of the channels that I watch and um, that mom no longer subscribed to them sometimes and I'll hit that red subscribe button again I don't know um, what YouTube does to us youtubers sometimes but sometimes they unsubscribe people so if you would before you leave today if you would make sure that you're still subscribed to my channel I'd greatly appreciate it and if you've got an Instagram account, I'd love for us to follow each other over on that platform. You can find me at Robin Lane Low, the same name as my YouTube channel. Okay, guys, so there's a lot of aftershot pictures of my back deck. I'm going to show you real quickly what my front porch looked like for Easter. And then I'm going to include just a couple of shots of my family at Easter. We had the grandkids here hunting Easter eggs. We had a great... Um, Easter lunch after church. And we had a wonderful day with family. 
So I'll leave you guys with just a couple of shots so you can see my family during Easter. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter also. I appreciate you guys for spending some of your precious time with me today. Hit that thumbs up button if you would. That helps out this video so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends. There's nine money eggs. Oh, there's nine. Uh-huh. <laughs>